Hey kings and queens, Queen Tajay here and I am back with another video and in this video I will be doing a lime and mint colored marble set. So let's get started. I've already prepped my client's nails and shaped her nail tips. Next I'm going to go in with my dehydrator and primer and then go in with my clear acrylic. So starting off my marble nails, I always go in with the lightest color as close to the cuticle area as possible and then I marble it. Um, you will see with the next uh, nail as well, but 
um that's because i want full coverage on all of my nails and with marbling it doesn't always get in the creases or you know where it should be so i just do that with my lighter color and then i start marbling and i'm going to do that again like i said for every nail now i was using this brush this brush was not giving me what i wanted so i later on in the video will be changing the brush so that i can get the marbled effect that i wanted now as you all know i do not like to plan my marbling however this um mint type color was so light that it almost looked like a white color so um i made sure to um plan out my marbling a little better that way i wouldn't mix it too much and the color got lost so that is the idea that i have for this specific video or this set i'm sorry um you know very easy per usual i love marble as we all know and i love ombre so anytime i can get a chance to do either or i'm excited about it so now i'm going to do those steps again taking my lightest color getting as close to my client's cuticle area as possible making sure i have full coverage and then i'm going to pull that color down again you don't want a huge bead you want to make sure that it's thin enough so that you can do your marbling and have enough space to encapsulate with clear acrylic so here we go
I do want to point out again that I am using medium to small beads. That is because we do not want to have too much product on our client's nails, knowing that we will have to encapsulate with clear acrylic. So too much colored acrylic, you will have to sit there and foul all day long. And you may even foul through that marbling that you like so much. Now marbling does go deeper than the surface that we do we do see but it may not be the marbling that you may want and i do apologize if you hear anything in the background um, my neighbor's motorcycle is loud As always you want to make sure that you pat the size of your nails that way you do not have a lot of shaping and fouling later of course with um, marbling you will have some size poking out but you want to make it easier on yourself and by doing that you will shape with your brush I'm going back to the um, pinky nail and I actually decided to skip it because I wasn't sure if I liked the marble at that time. <laughs> so um, I skipped to the ring finger and then I'm going to go in with clear acrylic. Whatever clear acrylic I decide that I do not want on the nail that will make it too bulky, I will pull it down to the free edge and pull it off and wipe it onto my napkin. So if you decide or you accidentally pick up too much clear acrylic, it's okay if you wipe it off and of course make sure you keep the shape of your nail so again you do not have a lot of shaping and fouling to do later and try to make sure that you get as much of that acrylic off your client's skin before you shape or foul it just makes everything better and pretty much easier because sometimes it's harder to get that acrylic off the client's skin once it dries you know even though we have the comb bit it can actually hurt as well so you know if you see you accidentally um picked up the wrong liquid to powder ratio and your stuff is everywhere try your best to control your bead and make sure that you wipe around your client's cuticles as well so that it does not harden onto their skin which also can cause lifting
So after applying my acrylic, I did shape and file, and here is the little dusties. And then I applied my top coat, and then I was done. Thank you all for watching, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.